Hello, I am Dr. Mary Louise Zozulin. I'm an OBGYN at Westwood Women's Health, which is a division of Women's Health Connecticut, located in Waterbury, Connecticut. September is PCOS month, which is polycystic ovary syndrome. Today I'm going to answer some questions that uh, you may have on the subject so that we can increase the awareness. You have anovulation. You don't ovulate every month or not at all most of the year. Hyperandrogenemia, which means you have elevated male hormones in your body. And you have polycystic ovaries, which means you have little cysts on your ovaries. The the way that PCOS affects women in several ways, uh, presentations can occur. Uh, the most common is infertility. They might be having a period most of the time or they may not be having very, very many periods. The other common way is if they have more of the hyperandrogenemia, they are growing whiskers on their face and getting acne. And then the other thing is, like I said, the, um, the cystic ovaries, they have pain. These cysts can get large and rupture and bring them to the operating rooms and the emergency rooms. And they are glucose insensitive, which means they have a sort of pre-diabetes. These untreated women with the pre-diabetes go on to have diabetes. They go on to have cardiovascular disease, obesity, hypertension, um, and all these serious long-term sequelae that uh, affect their longevity. The treatment for polycystic ovarian syndrome is uh, trying to control the symptoms. Uh, and there's been some real good progress with the diabetic or pre-diabetic portion of it. There's some studies that have definitely showed improvement by using metformin, which is a um, medication that it helps the cell take in the glucose. A lot of study has been done on um, placing a woman on oral contraception. Uh, there's been a lot of um, studies that show that that helped by just getting the ovaries to be quiet and not make any more cyst. And then if, if you have infertility and you're trying to get pregnant, obviously you don't want to go on a birth control pill. So then the answer is you, maybe the metformin, which is a glucose controlling medicine, and then you add a medication to help you ovulate. If you are struggling with PCOS, then please call your Women's Health Connecticut provider so that we can get you an appointment and take care of you right away.